So I bought this Tacoma from a dealership like five, six months ago. And over the past few days, I've one ton swapped it and put 40s under it. So I think it'd be a fun idea to take it back to the dealer and well, see what they think. Brought to you in part by Alpine Toyota. Martech Engineering. And in part by. So this would be day five of the Tacoma buildup, and today would be the first day that I'm home. And because we're going so crazy getting this truck built, working long days when we were in Hosmer, well, my body is just so sore and I'm pretty exhausted. So I think we're gonna take it pretty easy today, which is why I wanna go get some reactions from the dealership. And uh, we'll probably unload the truck later today and kind of tinker. I also want to take it through a car wash and blast all the mud and dirt off the frame in the rear so that I can go and paint it all while the bed is off. And yeah, let's go to Alpine Toyota and see what they think. Holy! What do you think? That's <laughs> big. The number one thing that comes to mind is big. Beast, bro. It's absolutely sick, man. <laughs> Look at that, eh? That's amazing. I think it's really, really sick. <laughs> now that's a pumpkin. <laughs> that's certainly not a Toyota. Holy. <laughs> this is Brady, the general manager here at Alpine Toyota. He's the one that hooked me up with this Tacoma in the first place. Wow. <laughs> so I figured if anyone, he's the guy that I needed to get a reaction from. But. Yeah, this is, uh, this is insane. It's actually way bigger than what I expected. He was downplaying a little bit. Uh, Brady Smith here, general manager at Alpine Toyota. You guys super have to be part of this dirt garage build. Absolutely insane Tacoma, you know, and it couldn't be a better guy building it. This is, this is really cool. Really Honestly, cool. it's bigger than I was expecting too, and it still might be lower once we put coilovers in it, because as I said, the, the suspension is just static right now with those temporary uh, just steel put in there. But So that was pretty Pretty fun and I just got home and as I pulled in the driveway um, my buddy Trevor who has that blue forerunner you've seen in other videos just pulled in behind me so let's get his reaction too. That's freaking wild man I didn't know you were gonna <laughs> just go at it like that like four days non-stop and bang yeah. it all out. Um, it, I, I had a week allocated to do what we did in like, in like three days. <laughs> I can't believe it. That is awesome, But it is man. sick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm so jealous, man. I'm like, okay, I want one of these. <laughs> All right, so we got the staff at Alpine Toyota's opinion on it. We even got Trevor's opinion on it. But you guys have not seen the most important person's opinion on it. This person right here. What do you think, sweetheart? Um, I think it's huge. And I don't know how I'm going to get in and out. Um... Oh, only negative so far, eh? <laughs> It's a great start. <laughs> but it's gonna be sick when it's done. I'm excited. I know it's on a trailer, but like, it's beefy. It's gonna kick all of the butts. I think the verdict is more positive than negative, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, good. I am excited. <laughs> so the plan from here is we're gonna take this down to the car wash. I wanna clean up a lot of the dirt and crap that's back here. Mostly because I want to like wire wheel down the frame paint it so that it kind of matches the front frame sections that's all painted and nice looking because might as well while there's no box on it i've also got a couple more brackets to cut off like the shock mounts and stuff like that but yeah let's get it washed
So yeah, the reason we took this thing to a car wash is because I want to wire wheel down the back half here and repaint it so it looks all fresh. But before I can do that, there's a couple more brackets I need to cut off. One being the factory shock mount, we're gonna get new shock towers back here so I'm not gonna use those guys. Also, I'm gonna cut off the factory bump stop perch here because the axle is now set back almost two inches from where it is factory. Um, and that doesn't line up with anything anymore, so might as well get rid of it. There it is. Both those brackets cut off and ground down. I think for now, for today, uh, because I'm trying to take it easy today, you know, relax a bit from all the work we've done on this over the past four days, I think I'm gonna sign off for today. <laughs> um, tomorrow we'll get the other side ground down. I think I'm gonna wire wheel the frame and actually paint it tomorrow, mostly because I don't have the supplies to do that right now. Anyways guys, make sure you like this video and anyways guys, make sure you like this video and subscribe cuz we'll be back tomorrow.